All right, it is officially December 1st, and with that, Advent Calendar start, and this year I wanted to give my own programming-based Advent Calendar a try. This is the Advent Code. The website will be listed here. And what they do is they release problems each day that people go to solve, and it creates an Advent Calendar. These problems are not too difficult. Uh, they're usually pretty easy to do, and you don't really necessarily need a lot of programming experience to be able to do them. You just need to know how to code a bit. So I'll be giving these a shot. I will let you guys see how I solve these problems to give you a sense of you know, what, what coders do in order to solve uh, basic problems in that sense. And it should just be fun for me as well just to try and do these each day. Um, that is my plan to do these each day. I don't know how well that'll work. Um, I already know for Christmas Day I will not be able to do it day of and release a video. But my goal as of right now is to do it each day and release a video about 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard. Um, so that is the current plan. All the code as well will be up on GitHub, and I'll leave a link for that in the description. But um, yeah, so day one. So I have read this one beforehand, and I won't read the full story. The uh, each day uh, programming challenge comes with a like short blurb and there's like a small backstory on it they're kind of all themed um i won't read the full uh prompt here i'll kind of just read the relevant bits but um yeah so for this problem fuel there is fuel required to launch a given module and it is based on its mass specifically to find the fuel required for a module it takes its mass divided by three round that down and subtract two so it gives you some examples. So for a mass of 12, divide that by three, round it down to get four, and then subtract two to get two. For 14, divide that by three, and then rounding down still yields four, so the fuel required is two. So it is our task to, given a giant input like this, to take all those, apply that formula, and then sum them all up and input the answer. So, yeah, so let me get this out of the way. All right, so the first thing I will start with is, of course, just a main method. Oh, will this give it to me? No. So public static void main. All these will be done in Java, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. But I will be doing all of these solutions in Java. That's just because I know it the best, and this is my first time doing it, so I'm going to stick to the language I know the best. Um, besides this, I only have one base class of code, which is this. This is just a file load in. Uh, it'll load a file in and give it to me in lines. So this uh, today's input file will be read in and each line will be a separate string in an array here. Um, I did this because I know each day will require files for the input. So rather than code this each day, I just put this as the base class and I can use this. Uh, that will be the only code that will be there from day to day. Everything else will be done from scratch. And again, it will be all on GitHub. So yes. So the first thing to do is to, of course, load the file in. So I'm going to create our string array. Call it input. And set it equal to the file util. Load the file. And I called it what? Day. Oh, sorry. Uh, day one dash one dot txt. Okay. All right. So each input will be a given mass. So first we need to convert this to an integer. Let's call it mass. Integer parsint is how you convert strings to um, strings to numbers in Java. Um, I'm not going to deal with the for loop right now. I just want to read in one mass and let's verify it works. So we're just going to read in the very first one at the input. And from there, we will be doing a mass divided by 12. Mass divided by 12. Or sorry, not 12. Divided by 3. My bad. And then rounded and subtracted by two. So I'm just going to verify that this is going to work out. Come on out. So just to verify, I'm not doing things overly wrong. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Go ahead and run it. And where's my console? Oh, it's right here. 
Uh, exception out of bounds. So my guess is this is invalid. Ah, oh, found, I found. Uh, oh. My bad. Messed the folder in front of it. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, I know what's happening. Sorry. One second. Okay, so sorry about that. I forgot that the file util was reading in the file and it was reading by line by line. So I was just breaking on the new lines, but of course the new lines get read out by this whole read line bit. So just know I changed it. It still gives me a list of strings instead of an array of strings, but uh, fundamentally it still works the same. So we verified, we read it in, we got the mass, we've calculated it correctly, good. So let's add a little more logic to get the full number we should be doing. So we're going to floor this to round it down. Rounding down in Java is just math.floor. And let's go ahead and subtract two from it. Uh, with math.floor return to double. So we got to cast this to an integer real quick. And there we go. Uh, Oh, what am I saying? Never mind. We're using integer logic, so we don't need a floor because integer logic already floors it for us. My bad. I should have thought about that. All right. So that should be good. So obviously you would normally need a floor this, but because we're taking a mass, we're dividing it by another integer. Integer logic, we take a number, say 14, divided by 3. That is normally 12.666 repeating. However, because it's integer uh, logic, that 66666 repeating gets truncated to just be four. And that is all you really need to know. So we have our mass divided by three, subtract two, that gives our results. And so if I do or run this, um, actually I can even just skip this if you want to check on a known number. Let's put 12 as our mass, run it. We get two, that's correct. Let's give it another number. 14 was the other example they gave us. It should still be 2, and it is. All right, so let's change this back to our input. And now instead of just doing one, let's put a simple for loop. And I'll do a little more fancy. I'll do an enhanced for loop on our input. So for each string in our inputs, whoops, sorry, I said input. Let's parse that number and run it through our formula and we'll get a result out. Um, so we should see 100 results. It's not too big of a problem there. Okay, so 100 results. So that is all of the input masses converted to the amount of fuel that is required. So for the last bit, we need to sum these all up. That is gonna be as simple as putting an integer up here, calling it sum, starting at equal to zero. And then each time we get a result, increase sum equal to the results we got. And then output, oops, output our result or sum. And there we go. So run this again. We get that as our total fuel acquired. Um, let me move this over. Actually, I won't now. I'll leave it here. I'll take this number. I will input it as our answer for this question, submit it, and there we go, we got it right, we got our gold star. So if you don't know, for the authentic code, each question you get right, if you get the first one right, you get a gold star. If you get both parts right, you get two gold stars. So there are two parts to every day. So part two, let me read this and I will get back to you. Okay, I just read over what part two is, and simply put, because we are adding fuel to our sleigh, that fuel adds mass. Therefore, the mass has gone up, so we therefore need more fuel to be able to carry that mass. So, <laughs> this goes into a continuous recursive add fuel, more mass needs more fuel, add that fuel, more mass needs more fuel, and it keeps going on and on and on. So, the example they gave, so we have a module of mass 14, so that requires two fuel. Because it's two fuel, we put that two back into our equation here, which is the mass divided by three floored minus two. That gives us zero, therefore it doesn't require any more fuel. So we can treat each addition of fuel as another module, 
and basically we just have to recursively call this until we get to zero. So uh, I will put some number, some text here. The example they give is a module that has a mass of 1,969, therefore requires 654 fuel. Then this fuel requires 216 more fuel, and this 216 more fuel requires 70, and then 21, and then five, and then no more fuel is further required. Thus, we get a total fuel required for a module of mass 1,969 to be this long equation, which we get 966 total fuel required. So, to deal with this, given that we have our mass here, so we have our mass, which is the initial mass, so we're going to have to create some other loop, which is going to have to loop until that mass is empty. So, let's actually just straight up do that. Let's do a while loop. While our mass is greater than zero, we will do the same thing, add the sum in, but once we do that, our result is now our new mass. So we give it initial mass, so say it is 14, we compute our result, which gives us two, we add two to our sum, and then we change our mass equal to two, which then goes back up to our while loop, two is greater than zero, however, we will get zero from this, or actually less than zero, um, actually, will we get less than zero? We will, because we'll get that. So I'm gonna actually add a quick check because I just realized that this is going to give us um, less than zero. So I'll do if it's greater than or equal to zero, we will do that. Um, mass always, so I don't need it like that. I only wanna sum that. All right, there we go. So in theory, this should give us our answer. So same, it is still the same puzzle input. Let's run this again. We should get some number that's much higher, which that is. Let's input that as our answer. And hey, we've got the right answer. Nice. So that is day one complete. Um, I don't know what editing I'll need to do. Uh, hopefully each day kind of goes like this. Um, I will try and get better and better with my explanations, um, but let me sum this real quick before we end this video. So to summarize what this day's problem was is that we have a list of masses and we need to, we need to calculate how much fuel is required for all the mass. So we started by simply getting all the masses, doing a formula which, gave a, which gives us how much fuel is needed for any specific mass and then summing it all up. That gave us our fuel required for the given masses. However, that fuel that we add into the sleigh also adds mass to the sleigh. So we needed to then do a while loop, which basically allowed, as we added more fuel in, we calculated more mass and we calculated how much fuel that mass needed. And we kept going until we basically didn't add any more mass to the sleigh. And therefore we got a true value of this much for my problem. Obviously, if you do this, you would have different inputs, you would have a different value. But there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this small series works pretty well. Um, and yeah, so all the code will be on GitHub and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.